So Robert, in your role at Google Creative Lab, you're essentially in charge of promoting a brand that everyone knows, everyone uses, and that's even become, basically become a verb. Isn't your job a little too easy? <laughs> um, well, it depends which part of my job. Um, I think that uh, while everyone thinks they know Google, there's like 98% of the stuff that the world doesn't know about. Um, and so it's actually much harder than you think to try to get those things out in the world uh, uh, without our, you know, we don't have the same model, like meaning it's a lot of marketers where um, you put up a billboard to sell something for $400, all that stuff is free. And um, so how do you get free stuff out there and figure out a way that it passes itself? For the longest time, um, you know, the company, company fundamentally believes like, well, if something is good, the world will just like, know about it and it gets passed around. And while that's true to a certain degree, um, so many innovations happening so fast and it's coming out, um, there's stuff that you know, were launched like four or five years ago that uh, would be useful to a lot of people um, that the world doesn't know about. And so um, it's harder than one would think. You said before that search results tell the story of our lives and uh, stories are a really big part of what we focus on at Sparksheet. Can you talk a little bit about the role story has played in, in Google's creative campaigns? Yeah, I think everything is a story. You know, even a product, a good product is, is sort of a story. Um, um, I think that good stories are the things that travel the best and it captures things the easiest. Um, so the uh, search on Parisian love stuff, you know, um, you know, a demo does only one thing, it shows you how something works. But when you wrap it with a story, it instantly infuses you and hits you emotionally. And I think that's where, when, when information, you know, comes in easier. Um, so, uh, I think the other thing, back to your first point of everyone knows Google, um, it's almost like breathing air. Um, that um, the, the story becomes even more critical, the right brain. You know, not just how, it's, how you use it and helps you in your life, but um, um, how it inspires you potentially. Because one of the things that's really cool is, you know, with the same search engine, you know, someone can find the cure for cancer or find like the perfect holiday. And, and I think that um, one of our jobs actually is to, to inspire folks to use this search engine and all the good information that's out there to help better themselves and the world. Um, um, and story is the only way that can make people feel the desire to do it. One more question. It seems that a lot of other web-based companies like AOL and Yahoo and even Netflix now are moving from merely organizing or distributing the world's content to actually creating original content of their own. Do you see Google moving in that direction? Uh, I don't know about creating content. I mean, we create a little bit of content in our marketing, really almost as an example for other people. I think, uh, um, we, I think we just fundamentally have a different model. Um, um, I, I think we like to create the platforms for which awesome stuff happens and uh, you know it's it's more awesome stuff will happen if six billion people are doing it versus you know a company of you know whatever 20 thirty thousand people doing it what are you working on now what do we have to look forward to well we're working on lots of uh, lots of new stuff uh, it always feels like the wheels are about to come off as we're going along um, but that's when it's really fun um, but we're working on the next uh, rev of Chrome stuff um, because we started with Chrome as a browser, but really, you know, the OS is coming out now is the Chrome Web Store, which uh, pretty much is a whole new way of looking at the web coming to us um, through, um, you know, not just through a laptop or through a browser, but uh, literally, you know, tablet, phones, and in the future, t-shirts, glasses, whatnot. So uh, that's happening. We're excited about that. Um, a lot of new search stuff uh, uh, can be coming out uh, soon too. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and, um, and, and always, there's always like four or five crazy skunk work experiments that we're uh, working on. And th there's one that's launching in the next couple of weeks that should be pretty fun too. That makes, uh, that addresses the, uh, the more button on the Google homepage. And if you hit that, there's an even more button and, uh, and it tries to do something.